What's new in Effect House this month, April 2023 edition? I'm excited to show you all a new gener effect we have. So as always, you can go into your object menu, generative effects, and then you will see sad face, which is going to make you look like I look in this preview. It's going to give you some red eyes. It's going to give you a frown. Again, our generative effects are pretty high performance features. So I would be cautious combining them with too many other features and especially with other generative effects. But I can't wait to see what you make with this. You will also notice that with sad face select selected over here in the inspector panel, this used to be a drop down. Now it's going to be an asset picker. So if you wanted to pick a different generative effect through this property, you can now add different generative effects down here through the assets panel. We've also done a little update to our texture sequences, animated textures. So you're still going to import them the same way you always have. So through add asset, import, and then texture sequence, you will then select the group of images that you want to import as a texture sequence and then open them up. You'll now see you're, you're used to it importing probably just as one asset, but now it's going to import as two assets. So this is the asset we were familiar with, the texture sequence. But now that texture sequence is going to be fed into what's called a maiden texture. So you'll see it up here. And what that's going to allow you to do, now you can apply these directly to images and directly to materials. So if you're familiar with Effect House, there's no longer the need for you to add a component to do this. So I'll quickly just show you all what that looks like. So if I go to 2D and add a screen image, in the past, you would have had to add a component that would have been found in animation. You'll see it's no longer here. Now I can just go right to this texture property and I can select my letters. And then you'll see they're applied right to this image. So we no longer need the component. And that same thing goes for materials. So if you're adding something like unlit material, again, you can apply it now directly to the texture slot in your materials. If you want to play with the uh, settings, you'll do that now in this animated texture asset. And then with that is going to come some updated nodes as well. So now we're going to be searching for animated texture nodes and we still have the animated texture player. There's no longer the autoplay option. So if you're wanting it to start without playing, you'll want it to have a loop can zero. And then if you want it to actually play when a trigger is detected, you can add animated texture, and then you can change the loop count to infinity. So if I screen tap, for example, and plug that in, and then I plug in animated texture by dragging from the assets panel. So it's going to start with the loop count zero, meaning it's not playing. And then if I screen tap, it's going to change the loop count to negative one, which is infinity. So it will start playing. So that's a little different now, just the way you're going to go about doing that. We're not going to work with autoplay. We're going to use this set animated texture node. There's just two more kind of smaller updates. So you'll notice now that our color picker looks a little different. We've updated our bling feature. So you're going to go to your hierarchy menu. You're going to go to post effect, and then you're going to select bling. Bling now has a camera component built into it. So for some of our more advanced users, this means you can now send the bling texture to a render texture, which will just allow you to do a few more things with it. So I'll quickly just show you all what that looks like. We'll a texture, render texture, and then in the bling camera, we'll send its render texture to that render texture. It's going to disappear for a second. And then if we add a 2D image, we can apply the render texture to that 2D image. It is going to be upside down, so we'll flip Y. You'll now notice there is black and white. That's what the texture actually looks like when it's put on an image. So in order to fix that, we will need to change the blend mode of our image. I think when your dodge should do it. So you'll see now it's on a render texture. If you don't want it to kind of do this thing where it remembers where the blings were beforehand, you can go into the bling camera. And instead of the clear type being depth, you can change the clear type to color depth, and that will make it look more like your regular bling. But because of this, now the bling is actually on a screen image as opposed to just being 
on the final render output. So I can, you know, move the bling around. I can rotate the bling if I want to. Um, you can kind of layer and stack the blings. One little update is bling can now be layered in our, our render groups. So I'll add a sphere to demonstrate this. There we go. You'll see if, if bling is at the bottom and therefore render at the end will be in front of the sphere. But if I drag the sphere down, notice now that the sphere is in front of the bling. So the bling can now just be layered in render groups, which is a fun little addition. That is all the new 2.3.0 features. One more thing to note, these features are going to work best if you update your TikTok app to the most recent version. So I encourage everyone to do that. This is a new program that we launched called Bonus Badges, and it allows you to get many perks depending on the numbers of effects you've published and how many times that's been in the videos. So we still have our previous badge system. This is just a bonus that we added. And if you click it, you can see all of the requirements. And after you've accomplished a level, you can click share batch and download the file to share to your social media. So I'm going to show you each of the levels and you can also read more about it in our Effect House channel. I will leave the link in our YouTube descriptions so you guys can follow along. So in here you can see that there, it's composed of five different levels. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. And with that, if you unlock the gold to silver level, you'll have a profile frame for three months. And if you achieve the platinum level, you'll have the official Effect House top creator title available on your profile. So anyone who is visiting your profile would immediately be able to know what an amazing creator you are. For our highest level, you have to publish 20 effects and have three of the effects be used in a million videos each. So if you unlock this level, you'll have the opportunity to join the ambassadors. I'm actually the community manager who's in charge of the ambassadors program and I'm very looking forward to meeting all of you and having you join the program. So you might wonder, what's the benefit of joining ambassadors? It has a lot of exclusive benefits such as early access to the new Effect House tool program. You might also be invited to exclusive events and partnership opportunities or a chance to create a branded effect. 